Tamers. Hey, what's up, Tamers? It's Derek from Digitopia here. And let me close out OBS. Oh, yes. Thank you. All right, cool. <laughs> but yes, I am with um, Fusion and everything, the captain of uh, the Crest of Utopia and everything. We He managed to come in first place with Bloom Lord, of all things, in the Modified Rules uh, Guy Force Gaming Weekly Tournament. And I'm not sure if you guys already know, but Ultimate Cups are changing. Ultimate Cups are going to be mainly monocolor decks. They're basically, uh, if you do want to play dual color cards, like the deck has to share one color. So, um, hey, Bloom Lord was just happy at that point. Um, <laughs> and I'm pretty yeah, sure Fusion can agree with that and everything. So, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, I, I, I do agree. Like, Bloom Lord was definitely really, really powerful um, on my side and everything with. Um, 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 just being a, a one color deck, it was really nice. It was really nice. There are, of course, a few uh, bands and limits and everything specifically for the Ultimate Cups and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's one of those things where, like, Grand Quagamon promo is at one, mm -hmm. Metal X, I think is banned, and then Def X Mon is banned. Um, Gephrix is banned. Um, Rare Gurumon X is banned, I believe. And it was Metal. Was it Metal? Maybe. Maybe. I might be wrong. But you guys get the point and everything. I'm going to probably hopefully have an image of a lot of the modified rules on the screen right now. But yeah, Ultimate Cup wants to go in a different direction. They might be want to try to emphasize the, uh, the funner side of um, the Digimon card game and everything where people can't just rely on extremely wonky decks or uh one tricks <laughs> and etc i guess um but um you know guy force gaming they, they they have some really good locals uh they've been it's consistent it. and they've been cons consistent uh Mifusion has been entering like a, a lot of them uh really lately and everything you know he is it would been in first place in the most recent one but yeah how was your matchups yeah. so my matches were um, we're pretty sure, but my first round was up against the Phoenix Mon deck. I was able to to elevate. It was just rough for them because Hydramon was was able to bottom deck the Mars and Phoenix Mon a lot, so it was really rough for them to come back from that one. So that was really their fault. It was just I chose a rough matchup for them. And then um, I went against All Force game one. I got really lucky. Um, first check he hit was Mimi, and and I already had like a full stack in the back. So I was like, okay, yeah, this this is rough. And then I was able to just run through Cicada with Bloom Lord, Mega Hydro, bomb deck the um the all fours, and then he just started over again. He just couldn't ha um handle that. And then get aim two. I literally just first turn Hydra, bomb deck um his level five stack, and then he just couldn't really do much after that. So that was another, another tool there. And then round three, um, and round four were both mirror matches. Round on the round three mirror match was rough because in game two you did play Pokemon, so I tried to play around that. And luckily for me. I um I was able to use Palamon as early as possible in the beginning of the set to find um Hydramon and then I just Hydramon um kept everything else on the field but, but Palamon so that way he couldn't um use Blossomon or gain advantage off of that. So he was just stuck with the Palamon for about two turns and I finally got rid of it. And it was just like I had to do my best to make sure to like the Palamon stand up field so he wouldn't do either had to get rid of it or he had to digivolve for it or just just do something to do a play again. So my point is just like trying to make sure that that, that little guy stand up feels as much as possible because it was hurting him more than me at that point. And then round three, again, mirror match. That was rough for my opponent because one of the MVPs of a deck for me was the Terramon. Terramon was really good in the mirror match because like it just made sure that they couldn't gain advantage at that point and stuff like that. And then at some point in the game, I was able to play a Palmamon too. So he was really stuck um, in that game one. And then game two, same, well, not the really same thing again, but it was more like when Hi I did, I think, either double Hydra or Hydra Bloom Lord. And then I couldn't find a Bloom Lord in, in one of the games. So I just, I, I just hard played Terramon. And then he was just, just stuck after that because he couldn't, couldn't use Green Marine Bruce. He couldn't really go anywhere with the Terramon on the field. So that was a really good match, a really good helper for that. And then um, round five was against a Blue Fair deck. Um, Blue Fair is a pretty rough matchup for for this deck unfortunately but it is also dependent on like like can like can boom more build a board faster than um blue fair and can't and can blue fair freeze before that happened and he couldn't find his pieces for for metal gray completely 
but he did get into I think it was Decker Greymon and what was it Launcher Greymon something like that? Um he, was it yeah, those Yep, the Launcher Blaster something like that. I, I can't yeah. remember the full name, but but yeah, I got um but when he played it out with a blocker and everything, I was able to Hydra bomb deck it. And then I played a Pummel Mon so he wouldn't be able to use Gaussmon anymore and that that. And then on uh, the next game, um same uh, same thing, he got a plasma launcher, he, he got to like three my security. So I had to hydra him immediately to bomb deck it. And then I think I left um what was it? I think he tried going to another on this month and I had to double hydra. And then I blew more kill us security, and then start attacking the game at that point. I think I was still there, but I I, I think a little, a little too much, but I'm still getting used to green decks, because there's so much you can do with green decks, so I was like, uh, yeah, I, 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 I could I could not, or I, I could try not to understand so much, but it's it's whatever, I guess. It's one of those but things, yeah. too, it's just like, when you play green, sometimes it's like, how do I say it, you gotta, you gotta cover all your bases. Um, yeah. Green is sometimes reactionary, more like there's a lot of other colors that can be like really forward and everything in there their strategy dictates everything but green is kind of reactionary you know a lot of times that uh when the fusion was talking about his rounds and everything it was constantly bringing up hydramon hydramon being able to stop your opponent just slow them down slow the game down then like as you can probably notice uh, we're gonna have the, the deck profile up even right now you might also see it on guy force gaming's channel they also have like these uh weekly videos where they go over the uh, tournament standings and all this other stuff and everything. So please, I really do highly suggest you guys check that video out and even just try to compete. If you don't have nothing to do, uh, it, what was it, on like Mondays? Or, uh, yeah, like, Mondays at 7 o'clock. Um, 7 o'clock uh, EST. EST. Yeah. Yep. If you don't have nothing to do, you want to play some Digimon and everything, you feel like you're getting a little bit rusty, you want to uh, try out anything, you know, I really do suggest trying out uh, Guy Force Gaming uh, and their yep. weekly weekly tournaments. Um, yeah, because there's, it's a there's good way a lot to just. Players there too. Yeah, there's a lot of good okay. players, and and also you can just just stay up to date with just like trying to play the game, and just because Nats is over doesn't mean the grind stops. That's all I'm saying. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, Bloom Lord, it had the rookie count sometimes isn't even inheritable based. It's all about these rookies that can do certain things and stop specific matchups and everything. Remember, we don't have no sideboard in this game. So green needs to take advantage of every like anti-meta rookie they got, you know. So as you can see from the picture that the fusion took and everything, you know, uh, you, you can still see hidden potential discovered as well. Yeah. If you're playing green and a lot of your stuff costs more, a lot of your level sixes cost more than uh, three to digivolve. Hidden potential discover is just a given. Like sometimes when you make a, a green deck, you just your first card you even start with you just hidden potential discovered until you can explain why you don't need it, right? Yeah, and it's I think it's just a lot of Terrymon coming in to help. Terrymon, man, hey, Terrymon has been staying in decks as much as me mean at this point. Yeah, I'm not not gonna lie, Terrymon did help me out a lot, especially for the mirror match because like. It's like it's it's a little guy that like the deck can't get over about Hydramon or right. an option card or which is just spend Terramon to run it over because like most of the time I just let Terramon unsuspend it so that way they have to do something to get rid of it because like Green doesn't have too many removal cards in this game which is kind of sad but it's kind of true there's 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 not too many green removal there's cards not in this a lot game of good ones. And there's yeah. not like a lot of good ones like especially since the the game is constantly producing like more gaps that can get away with not even ignoring removal uh, a lot yeah. of your a lot of your games playing room lord is probably trying to beat over something or just using hydramon to get rid of something and uh how did the one of shiramon come did it did that um was that handy i'm i'm not gonna lie like okay in in bt11 format it's pretty it's really good to stop um I'm a hate sports all the other, other option cards, but in Ultimate Cup, I never really got into it because like it's it's just really rough because like um there's not really a, a need to play big options. Like like I have I haven't seen anyone play like like an option card that would remove a full board yet besides maybe a Crimson Blaze. But um mm. I 
I I I honestly think the only time you ever use this thing um is literally being up against a red deck that you know has crypto plays and you just wanna like play something to stop the Crimson Blaze, if the Crimson Blaze is really going to ruin your board or anything like that. But I, I think it's like you play around Crimson Blaze pretty easily, depending on your hand, honestly. It, it just all depends. That the, the, single, the, the, the modified rules being single color decks and everything, that kind of gets rid of a lot of the security control decks that were purple mm -hmm. yellow or yellow blue or yellow something, yellow insert color here. Um, <laughs> and not like for real though right it was always yeah, like i know you're right you're right mag Angemon was the boss monster security control and that's why in my memes i swear i just have mag Angemon's face he, he's, the, yeah. he's the boss monster he recovers you that card's almost in every security control deck so it's like yellow and then something else but when you kind of yeah. take that take that away right you know then you kind of give decks a way to shine uh i think that people really do underestimate how much security control and how much multicolor decks dictate the format and everything, you know? Like, uh, and I mean, like, hey, you got to think about it like this, you know what I'm saying? The white tamers, some of the white tamers are really broken um, to a certain yeah. extent. To a certain yeah, cool extent. on top of right now. Yeah. Right, hey, by the way, Camera talk eventually going to be coming uh, whenever we get the, the, the bad list and everything. We're going to try to be as uh, quick as possible without talking about it and trying to react to it and everything to see if they made the right choice. Fingers crossed. Uh, but we're going to get into the, all of that here. But uh, like, as you can see on the screen, even still now, that's the deck profile. There hasn't been a lot of major changes to Balloon Lord. That's why we haven't, that's why it's kind of in this format right now. Uh, whenever there is an introduction of a deck or basically a deck has changed in some way, shape, or form, or there is extremely, like, cool text, we will do it, like, card by card. Yeah. But for right now and everything, Bloom Lord is just solid the way it is. You don't really have to... <laughs> you don't really have to uh, convince Bloom Lord to, to do a lot and everything when you say, only one color. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, especially since Blue Moore has the most broken option in this format, which is hidden potential. Like, like the fact that you could just literally play it um for free, make any any mega you want for free, and then it was Blue Moore, you just just gain a lot of memory, um basically for free. So it's like, yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of rough right now for for non green decks, unfortunately. Well, actually, Machine Drum might be, a, might be a rough matchup, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. But hey, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we're hoping to give you guys just a, like a little quick glimpse and everything of what to expect when it comes to Ultimate Cup and everything. Uh, I think that Bloom Lord is a very solid choice. Hopefully, this will help you figure out either what to tech in your own deck to either go against Bloom Lord or just the pilot Bloom Lord. Hopefully, that this helps in any way, shape, or form. So that you can uh, try to get all the the pretty uh, gallant mon support that's going to be given out as prizing and everything. And uh, yeah, thanks for just stopping in and watching the video and supporting the channel. And uh, hopefully uh, next time you hear from us, you know uh, it'll be uh, good news with the the, the ban list. And hopefully it's not outrage. You know, fingers crossed. Don't want to give no spoilers. And watch it be like fifteen cards banned. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I was gonna be like 15 cards that ban list. If, if I turn you to like, list, wow, they really got tired of competitive players. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they, they said, no, we got tired of you guys on doing the same old things. We, we want set 12 to be everybody plays, right? But all right, guys, you take it easy. Peace later, guys. Yeah.